are acne and diabetes related? On today's episode, we are going to talk about the relationship between diabetes and acne and why people with diabetes tend to suffer with acne more so than people who don't have diabetes. We're going to talk about, of course, things that you can do to try to prevent acne from happening. Most of us don't want acne and we don't enjoy having acne. It can cause a lot of insecurity. It can cause people to become very frustrated, sometimes even depressed or low self-esteem. So let's talk about the connection between diabetes, acne, and of course, what you can do to try to prevent this from happening. Before we get started, this is your host, Diana Bitucci. I'm a board-certified APRN here in the United States. It is my passion to teach and educate all of you worldwide. Please consider subscribing to my channel, share your thoughts down below, and share this video with others. The number one reason why diabetes can cause acne and make you more prone to acne is hormonal imbalance. We know that both diabetes and acne can be influenced by hormonal imbalances. In diabetes, fluctuation in insulin and other hormones can impact blood sugar levels, which may affect oil production and inflammation in the skin, therefore worsening acne or causing acne to develop. So therefore, we know that we need to maintain and control our blood sugar levels so we can stop this process from happening. Number two, insulin resistance. We know that insulin resistance is the hallmark of type 2 diabetes. Most people with type 2 diabetes also have insulin resistance. This is pretty much common knowledge now, and we have a lot of studies to show that. When you have insulin resistance, what happens is the body cells become less responsive to insulin. So insulin resistance can lead to elevated insulin levels in the blood, which may stimulate the production of androgen, which is male hormones, in the body. Having high androgen levels can actually promote oil production, inflammation, and therefore triggering acne to occur. Insulin resistance can also be an entity in its own, meaning you can have insulin resistance and not have type 2 diabetes yet. Although people who don't manage insulin resistance tend to always develop type 2 diabetes if not controlled. Therefore, insulin resistance is extremely crucial to try to get under control through eating well, maintaining an active lifestyle, or taking certain medications. Insulin resistance at times can be treated with medications like metformin, although there are other treatments now available, which I won't talk about in this video. Number three is inflammation. We know that both diabetes and acne are a chronic inflammatory process. We know that inflammation is common with both of these, both diabetes and acne. In type 2 diabetes, high blood sugar levels can promote inflammation throughout the body, including the skin. In acne, inflammation plays a central role in the formation of pimples and lesions that we don't want. Common things that you can do again, as I mentioned, is staying very active, eating a well-balanced diet. I will talk about that in a minute, but also managing your blood sugar levels so we can keep the inflammation at the lowest level possible. Number four, compromised immune function. We know that diabetes can weaken the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections and other skin conditions, including acne. Therefore, we want to make sure when we are controlling our blood sugar levels and keeping our diabetes well controlled, we tend to keep our immune system up and therefore we are less prone to developing infections and other issues like acne. Again, there's a lot of things going on with a weakened immune system, including inflammation, the inability for the body to fight infections. So we want to make sure we are keeping our immune system up to par as much as possible. And the best way to do that is by eating well, staying active, and keeping your blood sugar levels under control. Number five is certain medications. Yes, there are medications that can cause acne formation, and therefore you should be aware. Some of these include your corticosteroids, like steroids that we use when people have a lot of inflammation or asthma attacks or any of those problems that they may have. Some hormonal medications, including certain oral contraceptives that people take and hormone replacement therapy. So a lot of certain medications you want to be aware of. You want to address this with your healthcare professional to make sure that some of the medications you may be on are not causing this. Number six is lifestyle. 
The good news is lifestyle, a lot of these can be adjusted. So if you're eating a poor diet, highly processed foods, you're eating high fats, you're eating out all the time, ordering in or whatever it may be, starting to clean up your diet is going to be crucial, not only to help with your acne, but if you have other diseases like high blood pressure or diabetes in this case, that is also going to help control your blood sugar levels much better when you're including more vegetables, more lean protein, and you're eliminating the highly processed, high sugary foods. Stress can also lead to acne, so we want to minimize stress. I normally recommend exercising regularly, meditation, going for a nice walk, whatever it is that you enjoy doing that can kind of de-stress the situation would be great. We know that inadequate skincare can also lead to acne, so you don't want to sleep with your makeup on. You want to make sure you're removing your makeup, cleaning your skin thoroughly, using certain products that are healthy for you that are not over drying your skin too much. Of course, we want to take in a holistic approach. So getting the diabetes under control is going to be the first step because if we're not fixed in the diabetes, we probably won't fix the issue that's causing the acne in the first place. So keeping your blood sugars under control, eliminating certain medications if you have to, if you know that that's causing acne and maybe using alternative medications if needed, staying active, exercising on a regular basis, taking good care of your skin and having a good skin care routine, maybe being referred to a dermatologist. A lot of times, you know, if the patients are doing well from a diabetes standpoint, I will refer them to see a dermatologist for further evaluation because acne tends to bother patients quite a bit. And of course, we want to make sure we treat them and then they can feel better about themselves and they can, you know, lift up the self-esteem and, you know, it just overall, we all want to have clear skin and we don't want to deal with acne. So we want to take all the steps we can to try to eliminate it or clear up the acne. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you all on the next video.